Hi students welcome back to our IT class Today we are going to continue our fourth lesson Shall we start We usually buy rice vegetables and other things by going to shops Do you know that these things can be bought without going to shops There are many commercial sites on the internet The trade using these commercial sites that is The sites on the internet is called online shopping. We can order the required goods by giving our postal address in these shopping sites. We can pay the cost of the goods by various methods. The goods will be delivered to the given address by post or courier service. Children, do you know this person? He is Winton Surf, who was the director of ARPANET project, that is the prototype of the internet. He is known as the father of the internet. He played an important role in developing TCP/IP, that is Transmission Control Protocol or Internet Protocol, which is the basic standard for transferring information on the internet. He was born at New Haven in America in the year 1943. Next, we will move to the next topic, copyright and copy left. Have you heard these words? Let's know it. The information, pictures, movies, sounds, etc. available on the internet are prepared as a result of the effort of different people. There may be some restrictions to use it on our own. Some of them have an exclusive right to the person who developed it based on the copyright law. But some are free for everyone to use. So while we search and use information from the internet we must be aware whether it is free to use or not if it is not free we have to procure permission from the person or institution concerned to use it we have to be careful while using the internet while visiting websites get the correct web address and type it in the browser without mistakes Sometimes errors may occur while typing the web address. Then you may be led to wrong websites or may be cheated since there are people who utilize these errors for such purposes. So always make sure that you are typing the correct web address while visiting a website. Okay. While using mobile phones also we have to be careful. First point, using mobile phone while driving will lead to accidents. If you see someone using it while driving remind them of this danger second point taking photos and sharing them with an aim to defame persons that is to insult persons or institutions are offenses remember that taking photos without one's permission is also wrong third point messages which offer gift lottery etc have chances of cyber spoofing don't react to such messages and fourth one creating false and fake messages which cause defamation to others or stand against national interest or generate rivalry among caste religion class is an offense storing such message in mobile phones sharing them etc are also offenses in addition to finding the meanings of words we can use smartphones for many other day to day activities like reading the news performing banking transactions finding routes reserving tickets finding the bus and train timings etc mobile applications mobile app are now available to help us apps became popular because they are easily available in mobile phones as internet enabled services android play store of google app store of apple windows phone store of microsoft etc help to install apps easily at times you may be worried by some thoughts like are the electrical equipment at home switched off is the valve of the gas cylinder closed is the door closed etc sometimes you would be relieved only when you check it going back home now electronic equipment at home will observe all these things they will take care of these things which we have forgotten 
mobile apps and other facilities are available for these purposes in short phones or tabs will become multi purpose devices in the near future internet of things iot means observing and controlling equipments connected to the internet like this okay our next topic is cyber crimes cyber world is a term that generally refers to the use of modern information communication devices like computer internet mobile phone etc all activities done using the information communication devices like mobile phones computer internet camera etc which are against the law or which causes harm for the or defamation to persons institutions technical facilities etc are considered as cyber crimes role of technology in disaster management the flood of 2018 is one of the major disasters that kerala has ever witnessed computers can be used for analyzing the data from weather forecasting satellite and radars we can coordinate the disaster management activities using such data the information regarding the climatic conditions in different areas is available in the website of the indian meteorological department it is responsibility of kerala state disaster management authority ksdma to coordinate the disaster management activities in kerala more details are available in the website sdma.kerala.gov.in okay children this chapter is over we will start a new chapter in the next class thank you for watching